Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a look at an upcoming model from Oakley, the Sliver F. The Sliver F is scheduled to launch October 16th in both Oakley and Sunglass Hut stores. I was pretty excited to receive this model because I had seen a time-lapse video that Oakley put out in which they showed how the frame works. Now, this particular model was designed to be multifunctional in a very small package. Now, this is achieved by the new frame design and case design, which holds it very, very nicely. You got an awesome small little package that fits pretty much in any bag and almost in any pocket. Now, I've been wearing these for the past week, and they have quickly become one of my favorite go-to pairs. This is something that I could definitely keep inside of a glove compartment, a center console, or an everyday bag. And, you know, I don't have to worry about the glasses being damaged in the new aluminum case, or uh, it being too much of a bulky package. I could definitely see people that travel a lot, uh, people that always want to have uh, their sunglasses close to them, really gravitating towards this particular pair. So as you guys can see here, the models come in this really awesome aluminum case. Now I've been testing out the case as well, uh, just to see how it would hold up to just everyday usage. And so far, uh, it has not failed at all. The case is very sturdy. You know, I can definitely you know, bear down on it and I'm not, not have to worry about crushing down the case or damaging the glasses inside. There's also a magnetic closure, which allows it to stay shut until you obviously want to open it, which is really nice. Um, you know, they were inside of a bag and I didn't have to worry that they might come open and the glasses come out or anything like that. As you guys can see, it's a very thin, small form factor. So it definitely slips inside of a pocket very, very easily. Now, when you open it up, you have the glasses inside. I'll set those aside for, for now. Inside of the case, it's actually felt lined and it also has the icon and boast in there. So I definitely don't have to worry about putting the glasses in there and have them scratch up or anything like that. On the bottom right here, you see a microfiber cloth. And with this particular model, Oakley decided to include a cloth instead of a microfiber bag. And I think for the most part, that's um, so you're more apt to actually carrying them inside of the case. Uh, the case will be a little bit heavier than a bag would be, but it'll definitely you know store them and protect them a lot better than that would. And then you still have the cloth if you need to clean the lenses. So like I mentioned, you have the um, magnetic closure right here. So when you do close the case, it snaps closed and it protects the glasses in there very, very nicely. So onto the glasses themselves. This particular model is a matte black frame with violet iridium polarized. This particular color is actually going to be a Sunglass Hut exclusive for the first 90 days of the launch. The frame itself is nanomatter material which is a thermoplastic that is used in aerospace, surgical equipment, and 3D printing. Nanomatter is the thinnest, lightest, and strongest non-metal frame that Oakley's ever created. Now, these are very lightweight, especially with prolonged usage throughout the day. The sleek and thin form factor of the frame is achieved by the piston spring folding temples, both here and here. As you guys can see, these sit a lot thinner than your normal glasses would uh, because of the full legs that would come down. As you open them up, the two sections extend, and then you get the full frame. Now, one of the first things that I wanted to look at is how would the piston spring hinges hold up to prolonged usage? Obviously, as you go to close them, you're going to be closing both sections on a regular basis. And, you know, there's a chance that these might wear out and become flimsy, close on their own and things like that. Now, obviously, the way that they counteracted that is putting in the piston in there. With the spring hinge it, the, and the piston, it actually forces this to open up and not close back on itself, which is really nice. Now, one of the other things I, I wanted to know is with everyday usage, with this area right here, become a little bit bothersome when you wear it on your head. And I can tell you from experience and from, you know, testing them out for the past week that you don't even feel that area right there. Aesthetically, I wanted to see how this area right here, because of where the leg bends right there, how it would look. Would it look funny? Uh, would it look incomplete? And from far away, you could barely even notice it, that it's there. And I think this is also achieved by these really awesome lines that they cut into the area right here of the frame 
which actually hides this um, segment pretty well. Like I mentioned, they're very lightweight, very, very comfortable. Um, I wore them pretty much um, nonstop for the past week, and I found that um, you know, I kept on coming back to these uh, when I was you know, trying to choose which glasses I was going to wear for that day. Uh, there are a couple cutouts on the inside of the frame, which definitely minimize the weight. And I found that, the, you know, to be very, very comfortable. It's got a very thin form factor when it sits on your face. It's got a nice wrap, so it blocks out a lot of the light from the sides. But I would still consider this more of a lifestyle frame. So just keep that in mind. At the end right here, they do taper and they have like a little bubble here, which, um, you know, help it grip to your head a lot nicer. Oakley Optic to keep the center frame intact to preserve optical precision and alignment. So you're going to get the same high definition optics than you would with any other Oakley frame. Now, besides the three colors that you see here, which are matte black with gray, matte black with black iridium polarized, and matte black with violet iridium polarized, there's going to be four other color options in this model, which are matte dark amber with tungsten iridium polarized, Matte Denim with Jade Iridium, Matte Olive Ink with Fire Iridium Polarized, and Matte Gray Ink with Black Iridium Polarized. So there's definitely going to be a nice array of colors to suit anybody's needs. Now one thing that I wanted to show you is a little bit of an experiment that I did just to kind of show you um, how very versatile this case is and how minimal of space it's going to take up. This is the Sliver F case in aluminum. And as a way of comparison, I have just a regular square O case here. Now, these have been pretty popular with a lot of the newer styles, uh, which will fit anything from a wireframe on up to uh, the thicker O matter frames. So as you guys can see the size difference here, it's definitely evident that it's a lot easier to carry this case in a pocket or in a bag than it would be this case. Further want to show you, the Sliver F case actually fits inside of the other case so that goes to show you how minimal this case is going to be especially when you're carrying it on your person so as always i'll go ahead and turn the camera around put the glasses on so you guys can see what they look like all right so this is the matte black frame with violet iridium polarized lenses i'll go ahead and open them up and put them on so you guys can see so here it is. Uh, again, this is more of a lifestyle frame, so you're going to have a slight wrap to it. Um, a little bit of an opening on the sides here, but again, that is expected for the type of frame that it is. Uh, it's going to be very lightweight, which is definitely very, very comfortable, especially for prolonged usage. Uh, this is going to be great for people that drive a lot. Um, you know, if you're wearing your sunglasses on um, for a long time throughout the day, because that Nano matter frame material is going to make it very lightweight, very comfortable, so you're not going to be aware of the frame as you're wearing it. Obviously, this particular model has the violet iridium lenses, and what they've done is they paired the violet icon with it, and I think it makes it look really nice. Now, as always, on top of my head, here it is. Uh, everything stays intact. You know, uh, that was one of the questions that I had as far as how that the piston uh, spring hinges were going to perform especially opening and closing them uh, stretching out the frame a little bit and you know i can definitely say that everything stays exactly where it should be nice and tight and it's a great comfortable fit uh, speaking of the fit some people will have questions as far as what this particular model is going to be similar to in other oakley models and i would have to say that this is going to come uh, close to a like a holbrook as far as the look and fit uh, or maybe even a two-face but again, it's going to be a lot lighter, uh, it's going to be very comfortable, and it's very durable uh, thanks to that nano matter frame material. So there it is. This is the Oakley Sliver F, uh, scheduled to be launched October 16th in both um, Sunglass Hut and Oakley stores. And remember, this particular colorway, the matte black with violet iridium lenses, will only be available for the first 90 days in Sunglass Hut. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.